Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'd like to show you how to do some mile-a-minute crochet today. Let me put the camera up here, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. I've made a couple of samples here to show you what it looks like in case you haven't done mile-a-minute before. Usually you start with um, granny squares. You just do two across and you have to have the side pieces. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And you can make this as long as you want. You can make it for a scarf, you know, like do two strips maybe that are this wide or even this would make a nice scarf all by itself if you make it longer. Or you can make an afghan doing several strips or you can do um, a shawl or a lap robe just uh, putting certain numbers of strips together. Okay, what I'm going to show you is how to make this centerpiece. I'm going to use my, I like the multicolor in the middle, and then you can either match the colors on the outside, or you can do some kind of a contrasting color. Yes. All right, you do your slip knot, and you chain two or three, whatever you prefer. I'm going to do three just because it's easier to handle. Now I'm going to do go back to this first thing that the slip knot. I'm going to do two doubles in there along with the chain I already have that will make my first cluster and then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to make another cluster with three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to chain. You can do two or three on a side. Two is probably good because of the way it's going to form on the edges here. I'm going to do two clusters in my double, in my two chain at the top. So I've got one, two, three, and then I'm going to chain two again, make another cluster in the same space, and here's how I get the other side. I'm going to make a double crochet down into this last stitch down here, and now I have something on each side that I'm going to work with going down the edges. Chain two and do your double cluster at the top again. Two, three, chain two, one, two, three, and Put the double crochet down here into that last stitch. It's kind of difficult. I have been known to forget to put this on the side. And then you have to kind of cobble something together to make the edge coherent. But you do need to have a chain and a double crochet uh, for each row so that you have an edge to work with when you go this way. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few of the things. You can make this as long as you want. Usually my shawls have like 75 clusters and then I tie it off and then I start doing the second round. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like, making sure you have the the chain and the double crochet on each side like that. For the next row, the easiest thing that I can think of to do is to put three double crochets in each space like this. I did not put a single chain stitch in between so it is just clusters of three all the way along the edge. When you go to the top, 
on either end you're going to have to increase your stitches so that the row lays flat and how I did that was by adding a chain two on the last the last group and then I put my two clusters with chain two at the top and then I chain two on the side and that increases it just enough so that it goes around the end. Now there are other ways to go around an end. You don't have to do it this way and actually you'll find patterns that say put a long chain down the middle and work both sides. You can do that if you like. This for me is the fastest and easiest way to do it. Now for the next round, now that I have made my, clust my clusters here in the second round, you can either repeat that, doing it the same way, which makes it a little more looking like a granny square, a, a granny type of a stitch, because it separates this row a little bit better. Or you can make a tighter pattern, a warmer pattern, by just doing one in each stitch, and you're still going to have to increase on the ends. So I did it two different ways on here just to show you. In this one, I put five doubles into that gap and then I did not put a chain here and I did two into this cluster and then I did five at the top. Same thing here, I did, there's my two, two clusters and two chains in that corner. Uh, well, actually, that's where I switched patterns. Um, this side is where I made the clusters so that it looks more granny. Now, I want to show you my um, screen here on my computer because if you look, you can see that if you put my eliminate crochet into Google, you will see a whole lot of different ideas. Um, a lot of these are connected to patterns. Some of them you have to pay for. It depends how badly you want it, but there are many, many free patterns that are available online, and I really got uh, impressed with a certain one here. Let me get down to it. This one. I really like these colors together hope you can see that. Okay, um, I love those colors together and then they have another picture right here of how it turned out and in this was this is one of those where they just did the clusters on the side and they did the two cluster at the top with the chain two in at up here in the corner and that made a little bit more of a point instead of a round end it depends what you want to do. Everything um, is uh, adjustable in this pattern, shall we say. So I hope you enjoy doing some mile a minute crochet. Um, I hope you uh, have a good time with that. Uh, just choose your colors carefully and it will come out just beautiful every time. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day and stay safe.